Here is my Tatura trellises. Again, this is uh, right next to my high density, my ultra high density field. Then I have five rows of open Tatura trellis and these trees have been in the ground for about 30, maybe 30 months at the oldest. So two and a half years. And we are like the other ones post harvest. Majority of this field is white peary. And you can see they're just going through a flush right now, which I would have liked to prune before before a flush. Do not waste a flush, but cannot help it. And now I've really got to get into the pruning because some of these trees are flowering. And if they flower before the pruning, then they're going to be a little too bushy. And the flowers will be in the wrong place. So if the flower, like this tree, flushed on the bottom and flowered on the top. So not too bad. Because those will stay off of the ground, guarantee. I'll just have to tie them up better. Uh, but all of these here have extended too far off the tree. Off of the wire. I mean, they've extended too far off the wire, so I'm going to have to cut them back because any of these right here, that flower from this new flush that you can see here, any of those that flower will end up on the ground. So you really, there's really no point in having them come, letting them go because all the mango will be on the ground and you'll just be dealing with having to try to pick up all of your mangoes so this orchard is now ready for its post harvest pruning like i said 30 months but i let i let these this row especially flower because of how tall the trees were and you know what it didn't restrict the growth at all these trees just continued to grow and flower and grow and flower and so but now we're going through a major flush. So it will be it's a good time to tie down the new new growth and remove anything that comes off of the tree too far. It's been quite a while since I did a pruning because as you can see this is the middle of the, the open tatura the inside the canopy. You can't even see you can't even see through it. Here's the other side. You can't even you can't even see through it anymore. It's so thick. It's all growing up into the middle. So there's a lot of stuff in the inside and outside that need to be removed. Branches, excess branches, and new stuff tied on. There's been a lot of new growth, new flushes. And so... This is also time for a pruning. Now, with the open tatura trellis, there's not as much thought to go into the pruning because the pattern is set. You go in, you tie down branches onto the wire, you make sure you have upward growing sublaterals, which are going to be the fruiting branches, and Look at this one. It's uh, the last tie down was was there. You remove the old tie downs, and then look, this then it goes up. So this will need to be, you know, tied down here, and then pruned back. Any of the these this these will be the two sublaterals that I'll leave up, and they're upright facing. And I'll remove the other ones because they'll be too low to the ground, and they'll just flower onto the ground. That is for the bottom wire. I remove any sublateral branches that are downward facing because there's no point in it. The fruit will be right there on the ground. And so for the bottom wire, I remove all downward facing. For the upper wires, if I cannot help but have a couple downward facing sublaterals, then I'll leave them and they'll usually be all right. So. 
these guys started flowering around again. So tying down. So like I said, with the open tutorial trellis, less thought goes into pruning because the pattern is already there. Tie them down to the wires, create a flat two-dimensional canopy. Whereas with the ultra high density, you have to go in and you have to make the decision uh, what is the the what branch or what part of the canopy will be removed what inward facing growing uh, branches and crossing branches but for the t the canopy the tatura trellis the pattern is already set so in that sense it's easier and the growth has been i mean ex excellent as well uh these guys have gotten to like what I would feel comfortable allowing the tree to flower at, at two years. By two years, it was already at a, because even though the, the whole canopy hasn't filled in its, its area yet, because the branches are all tied down, you know, they have enough support to, to flower, even if they were only on the first two branches, uh, wires or the first three wires. And now there's a, a lot growing above above the wire so those have to be taken care of this row is majority namdakmai and namdakmai is a, a semi dwarf kind of slow growing tree it's a slow growing tree a smaller tree i wouldn't call it a dwarf it will get big but because of its slow short stature slow growing and short stature it uh the branches get thicker quicker so they're not as easy to tie down so a lot of the trees for these i i did a more of a fan shaped design some of them i stuck with with the central leader design but a lot of them i ended up going with a fan shape and i broke a lot of branches in doing this so that's all part of everything i didn't numb like my broke more branches than any other and then you have uh the keep the keep mangoes like i said they don't branch off good so if you don't really stay on top of your pruning with the keep mangoes they can grow the whole length which for this tree because they're eight feet spacing they only have four feet to grow on each side and keeps will grow the whole four feet without having any sublaterals that'll be the fruiting and you you just have the tips that it'll fruit off of so on this one i barely got a couple sublateral fruiting branches in it but this is a very vigorous upright growing tree and you can see that the mangoes are heavy <laughs> and the mangoes are really heavy too so you can see stress getting put onto onto the wires i have to tighten up my wire that's for sure and um those are that's an accidental keat in the row of uh namdak mayas which happens a lot and then there's a bunch of keats and then white piri this is mostly just white piri out of the 300 trees maybe 200 white piri 50 namdak mayas and 50 keat <laughs> And the white period was good. The chickens ate a lot. The pigs ate a lot. But uh, the production was good. So, that's the task. Go in there, tie down new growth, remove flower panicles, remove uh, anything growing too far off. A lot of these trees are just getting ready to flush new leaves, so I probably will take cuttings for scion wood. If, especially on these two rows, which haven't really flushed yet at all. Or just starting to the last couple of days. So I can probably go in and find quite a bit of scion wood for grafting. And that's what we have here.